SCP-645, object class Euclid. SCP-645 is a large disk of Pavo Nazeto marble with a humanoid face carved into it, similar to the famous Baca della Verita carving in the Church of Santa Maria in Cosmedin in Rome, Italy. As with the Baca carving, the mouth and eyes are empty holes. Unlike with the Baca carving, however, subjects who place their hands inside SCP-645's mouth describe it as warm and moist. SCP-645 embodies and has been hypothesized by Foundation folklorists to be the origin of the lie detection properties attributed to the Baca carving since medieval times. Any subject who tells a lie, see Incident Report 645-N41, while their hand is within the carving's mouth will activate the carving, which will then bite off the subject's hand at the wrist and swallow it. High-speed cameras have revealed that this process, which lasts less than 0.3 seconds, involves the manifestation of lips, gingiva, and disproportionately large incisor teeth. The lips cauterize the injury via an unknown mechanism, after which the lips, gingiva, and teeth demanifest. The force exercised by the teeth has not been accurately measured, but is sufficient to sever a steel rod held in the hand being bitten off. Probes of SCP-645's mouth in its inner state have revealed no esophagus. As such, the ultimate fate of the severed hands is unknown. RFID tags implanted in the hands of D-Class personnel have been unlocatable. And sonograms of SCP-645 indicate that it is solid, Pavo Nazeto marble with no inclusions. Recovery SCP-645 was recovered during routine archaeological excavations in Italy in 19... The slab of marble bearing the carving was not attached to any building and had been bricked over. Archaeologist expressed the opinion that it seemed to have been deliberately buried. 48 hours after being discovered, SCP-645 mutilated a graduate student who had been participating in the excavation. Foundation agents in the Italian Ministry of Cultural Heritage and Activities intercepted the injury reports and retrieved the object. Incident Report 645-N41 on D-45-951 was enlisted for experiments to study both the criteria by which SCP-645 assesses statements as lies and the mechanism by which it severs hands. Unexpectedly, D-45-951 was able to deduce SCP-645's anomalous properties prior to testing due to cultural knowledge of the properties folklorically attributed to the Baca carving. Consequently, D-45-951 disobeyed instructions as to how he should interact with SCP-645, which ultimately revealed further anomalous properties. Note, after a thorough review of not only Incident 645-N41, but of all footage of personnel in proximity to SCP-645, I have come to the conclusion that SCP-645 is most likely sapient. This was not the first time that personnel in proximity to SCP-645 have lied or otherwise been less than honest. However, in light of D-45951's admittedly impressive and important performance in avoiding any untruths and of 645's unprecedented rejection of his hand, I feel that 645's attack on Dr. Rensburg immediately after he admitted to having deceived D-45951 was a conscious act motivated by resentment and antipathy. Incident 645-N41 also revealed that the scope of SCP-645's anomalous properties is far greater than we had suspected. In particular, it can no longer be considered to pass the locked box test. I therefore request that its object class be upgraded to Euclid. Site Director R. Kocherian. Approved 054. Footnotes 1. Subsequently identified as Roman Holiday, 1953. Paramount Pictures starring Audrey Hepburn and Gregory Peck. 
special containment procedures. SCP-645 is to be kept in a padded crate 2 meters by 2 meters by 1 meter. Personnel within a 10 meter radius of SCP-645 are to refrain from all statements which may be considered untruthful or deceitful. SCP-645 is to be cleaned after each activation. <laughs>